This is to demonstrate what a layer file is. So we're looking at a point shape file, bunch of fish locations. And let's say that I apply some formatting to this. So I'm going to click on that icon and maybe I'm going to change the color to bright yellow and I'm going to make them bigger and I'm going to make them all triangles. Oh, and now I got to change the color again. Okay, so I changed the formatting. Now let's say that I want to reuse that formatting later so my maps are all consistent. I can save this as a layer file. So I right click, save as layer file, and I'm going to find my folder, and I'm going to call it uh, fish locations yellow triangles. And now if I want to reuse that formatting, I can just use that layer file without having to go to all the trouble of you know, changing the color and changing the symbol and changing the size that I just did. Now, if we look at that layer file, here's the key to that layer file. This by itself is not enough. The only thing that's in this file is all that formatting information. None of that point or the shape or the geolocated data, none of that is in this file. This just points to that other file, which is here. And again, you know, this is a GIS file, but it's really several files on your hard drive. So if I just copied over only this layer file, to a new computer or a different folder, it will not work because it points to that shape file that was used to define it. So let me show you what I mean. I'm going to start a new map. Save my old map. And now I'm going to add data and I'm going to add that layer file that I just made and you see it looks exactly like it did before. If I right click and go to properties and then I go to source you see that there's an entry here for shapefile and it's looking for this shapefile. So that layer file is linked to this shapefile. And so the layer file, file by itself, the layer file by itself is no good. And I can add just the shapefile And I can turn off that layer file, and you can see that it's just got the same, you know, default formatting. But like I said, if I wanted to bring it in and have it formatted in a particular way, I could use that layer file as long as I also had the shape file so that it could find that shape file. Now, this is a very simple example. But when you get to more complicated symbology, so for example, if I go to symbology and I want to color, I want each fish to have its own color. And there's an awful lot of values here, so this won't look very good. Let's find some... Uh, Try that. 
And let's turn that on. Let's turn off the layer file. And so now you can see these are all different fish and they sort of each have their own color. And if I didn't want to have to do those steps every time, I could still right click, save as layer file, call it fish locations, um, unique color. And then again, could start a new map, bring in that new layer file, and it looks just like it did before. But again, that layer file by itself is no good. If I look at the properties and go to source, again, for shapefile, it is looking for this particular shapefile which must be in the folder, you know, where it's looking for it in order for the layer file to work. If I go to our catalog, you can see those layer files here. But if I copy just the layer file, that's not enough. Or even art catalog won't bring everything over. I've got to copy this over. Um, plus this shape file. So again, this is why we organize things by a folder. If I just take this folder called Lecture 10 and copy it over to a new computer, then it's got everything I need and everything works great. So that's layer files.